Okay, now let us talk about the tiny Caribbean island of Barbados. And this is a topic that I did not want to speak on, but apparently a higher power wanted me to send this message. Now, Barbados, I do not know what kind of mind control you are under. I don't know what kind of witchcraft. I don't know what they're putting in the food, why you cannot use critical thinking and you cannot connect the dots. No, your leaders are busy pushing to get rid of the British Queen. Now, let me tell you something. The British Queen is your base insurance policy in a hostile world, right? I repeat, the British Queen the British monarch is your best insurance policy against a hostile world, especially China that is roaming around in America's backyard looking for colonies, right? Because they are looking to set you people up. China would want a military base. Now, with the queen being head of state for these Caribbean islands, China cannot move onto these islands. They have to get rid of the queen first. Now Barbados, you hold China way too much money to get rid of the British queen. The M British monarch is your best insurance policy because rest assured, they will collapse the world's economy. And when that happens, you will have to find a way to pay China their money. And if you cannot pay China the money you owe, China will then come on in and seize your country. Now you need to go and look up China's human rights record and realize how cruel these people are. So a lot of people like to throw the British Queen under the bus, like to highlight their flaws and their faults. But understand, China is a million times worse. That bloodline is a million times worse than the British bloodline. Right? They are setting you up. When you remove the British Queen, that is your insurance policy. The British Queen comes with the British Army. It comes with Canada, Australia, and the rest of the Commonwealth. They are looking, right, to put in a new world power, which is China. And they are looking to enslave the seed of Jacob again, right? Now, if you stay with the British Queen, as your insurance policy, you keep the wolf at bay. These people are setting you up. Now, let me show you just how spiritual things is going to get, right? Now, if you look on your flag, Barbados, you see a trident, Poseidon's trident. Now, Poseidon is the child of the fallen angels, ancestors to the fallen angels. And also... There is another fallen angel that his name is Barbados, right? I think they pronounce it similar to Barbados as well. It's just the T and the D. That's the difference. Now, let me read from my book just who Barbados is. And I do believe your country was named after this entity right now barbatos is one of the fallen angels and 72 spirits of solomon formerly one of the virtues barbatos is a great count and earl and duke of hell where he rules 30 legions when the sun is in sagittarius he appears with four kings and three companies of troops he understands the languages of all animals especially the singing of birds the barking of dogs right no that is just a little little bit that i'm going over from my reference books right and i do believe that your country was named after this entity no Here's a good reason why these people are after the Caribbean islands. There is a special bloodline that runs within these islands. Barbados, open your eyes, right? You are connected to two separate demonic entities, 
right? Fallen angels. You have Poseidon and you have Barbados. Now they give you a story and tell you that your country was named after some Portuguese um, guy was the one that came up with the name. But I believe your country was named after a fallen angel. And that is for a good reason right no i'm telling you this you are in the midst of a spiritual war you should stay put with the british queen and understand they are looking to enslave you back again right there is a lot of spirituality that is attached to your island and everything i say to you today can be proven you can look up the entity Barbados. You can look up the trident that is on your flag and ask yourself, what are the odds that a tiny Caribbean island, a tiny, tiny Caribbean island is connected with these fallen angels, right? They know what they are doing and they are setting you up right i don't know what kind of mind control you people are under why you follow your leaders without thinking you need to pray and say glory be to the most high